What is cracking, Rocky Auto Tribe and fellow Nightwish Army? How are you guys doing? Hope everyone is alive, kicking and rocking the hell out of this life. I'm back with Nightwish and I'm finally going to do the High Hopes Pink Floyd cover, which was requested early on in my journey. I think it was right after I discovered that Marco can sing. He's got an incredible voice. He sings like an angel. And everyone said, man, you want to really see him perform? do the high hopes cover excuse me <clears throat> the high hopes cover and i thought mm, should i shouldn't i decided not to do it at that time because i was still early in my journey i was still discovering nightwish and i really wanted to experience the band you know through their music through their creations um just to understand what they're about to to feel their essence and to also kind of see what each member of the band uh, contributes to the band, what, what they put on the table um, so that I can appreciate this more. And I think I will appreciate this a lot more now because, you know, you guys said that he shines here. And now from what I've seen, from what I've seen, what, what he can do, it, it makes a lot more sense now because now I know He's going to do the song just no, no doubt in my mind. And of course, you know, the song, the original song uh, is very keyboard. You know, it starts off with uh, this keyboard solo thing. So I know that Thomas is going to also um, do amazing things with the song. So it is actually a very strange, almost Nightwish-esque song uh, of course, it is Pink Floyd, but with Pink Floyd and Nightwish, I think they come from the same crop, man. They are like two peas in a pod. For me, musically, I'm going to rank them almost the same, man, because uh, Pink Floyd, what, what, what they did, you know, and, and I've said this about Nightwish before, is that they, they, they seem to have tapped into this uh, unlimited source of creativity. They, they channel this creativity through them. And of course, Pink Floyd did the same thing, man. They, what what they created was just marvelous. You know, it was it was something that no band has really done since. You know, but Nightwish has the same essence, where they are able to create music that can just that ra that radiates creativity, that radiates life, that radiates emotions and power and and all sorts of things. If there's any band that can do a Pink Floyd cover, it is Nightwish. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do this. Yes. Oh. Beyond the horizon, mm. all the place we lived when we were young, in a world of madness and merry clouds. I've gone straight constantly and without boundary. <laughs> The ringing of the division bell had begun. They look so young. Along the long road, long down to the causeway. Will they still be oh. there by the cut? There was a ragged dam that followed in our footsteps. Running before time to God is our way. Leaving the very small creatures that tried to tie us to the ground to life comes to a fire so decay. The grass was green. Light was brighter. Wow. Oh, how 
So good. But sleep walking back again, dragged by the force of some inner tide. What the high is out to kill? Oh my God. Do you know what they've done? This, this is a perfect blend of that magical sound that Nightwish has in their music. Like I've said before, Nightwish has this magical sound, like you're going off to this magical land. And I don't know, but I mean, the way Thomas is, is playing that keyboard, he's incorporated that magical Nightwish sound with the Pink Floyd, that progressive rock is coming through, especially when Empu comes in with that solo, that progressive Pink Floyd sound comes in it's a direct tribute to the song, to the band, but with that magical mix. And Marco's vocal there, that high note that he did, oh my God, I got goosebumps all over, man. Wow. Forever, desire and ambition. This hunger still unsatisfied. Our weary eyes still stray to the horizon. The darkest road we've been so many times. The grass was green. Oh, yes.
Oh, man. That was incredible. I knew that I had to wait for this one because, oh my God. For a second there, I totally forgot that, uh, that, that Marco is uh, the bassist. That he's actually the bassist. That's, that's his lead role in the band. He's the bassist. He's, he's not the front man. But, oh my God, he, he owns that role. He totally owns that role. Whatever role he's in, whether it's bass or vocals, doesn't matter, man. He, he owns it. He takes ownership and he makes it happen. I, I, was, I was entranced by that, man. And just, just how Floor entrances me, Marco does the same thing, man. He literally just, he just takes you in. He pulls you in and doesn't let go until the end of the song. You can't, I can't pause. I can't stop and say anything um, during Nightwish songs anymore, man, because I get so sucked in. And this was no different. This was no different, man. Magical stuff. Um, Thomas's playing is haunting. It is haunting. But you know what it is about Nightwish? This band does not play. They don't play music. They they feel music. They become the music. You can see it, man, in their faces, in their playing. They, they feel every note. They feel every bar. They feel every lyric. They become the music. It's coming out of them. They, they are one with it, man. It's, it's so difficult to explain, but I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. They just become, they become the experience. They are the experience. It's not just music. It is one hell of an experience that they they take you from from the beginning and they drag you through this thing or hold your hand and take you through it and you just feel everything and i can understand why they did they chose this song um there, there's something about the lyrics in the song that really i think connect with with thomas's style or his um his philosophies, I think, you know, he always goes back to the boy. He talks a lot about the boy and about um, children or like, you know, those, those magical moments that you felt when you were a child and how the grass was greener and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, it's very, like I said, it's very Nightwish. It's a perfect song for Nightwish to cover and they, they, they crushed it, man. They crushed it. I knew they would and they did. Oh my God, I'm going to go listen to the song again and again and again. In fact, my, my father-in-law is a huge Pink Floyd fan and I have to show him this. I, I, think, I, think, he will, I think his jaw will, will drop. His jaw will definitely drop. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that, man. I'm, once again, I cannot get to the end of an Irish song without being just like emotional, man. It's always just such a ride, man. Such a ride. An amazing ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers.